Now, this is a great matchup right here because Matt Hagen was very good in qualifying, especially yesterday. They went down the track both times. 415 Cruz, if you watched our show, was not in the field when he came up for that last qualifying session. He backed it down to make sure it went down the racetrack and it runs a 416, which even surprised himself. And one of the big challenges coming here from Denver is the altitude. It brings a lot of horsepower. All of that air makes these cars difficult to run. Compound that, Danny DeGenero says, they decided to throw a new blower on at the beginning of the week and found out it had a little extra pep in its step as well. So it's a bit about managing the horsepower. That's the challenge for all of these guys, but specific, specifically for the snap-on car. A little extra power, good thing to find. Yeah, but Cruz is a dangerous guy here. You oh, know, yeah. he's quick. I never counted him out. I used to race against him. Look at this Good. one. Another oh, yeah. great wow. race. Pedregon, oh, yeah. you're exactly awesome right. Awesome job. 415, the 415, beat his 414. Good driver. Good yeah. job. Snake, you called that yeah. one right, and it took a whole shot to do it, though. That's this isn't, this isn't my it, first guys. day on the beach, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it, buddy. Much. I still got the scars on me from Pedragon. I'll tell you, Cruz Pedragon had the advantage off the start line. That's what you got to do to win on a whole shot. Matt Hagen was not bad. You can't blame that on the red light, but you take a look at the photo finish cam right there. Just by a nose, Cruz Pedragon. That was a great race. Yeah, and you got to give Cruz a lot of credit. Here is an independent guy. His budget isn't nearly like it is over at Schumacher's there. But look at him. He's out here doing it. I give him a lot of credit for that. He just loves the sport. Yes, he does. Him and his brother. They they're not bad. Yep. They're Petragons. They are good.